Yep, let's go. What's good? It's Crooked Streets Radio. Yours truly, Tisla on the Great, 410 Hit Now. I just got done seeing an incredible show that gave me flashbacks and also gave me chills because of the new music we hear from the one and only Can Ox, Cypher Unknown, Cannibal Ox. Peace, 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 peace. what it is. Yes, yes. Cannibal Ox in Baltimore. You know, we on our North American tour, but you know we over here in Baltimore rapping. Definitely, like, yo, it was a great time out here in b More. Like, we got a lot of good energy, and there's a lot of energy being transferred and reciprocated from one to each other, one and another. And that's what we rep, you know what I mean? That culture, you know what I mean? It's all one culture, that music. So, yo, it's a privilege and an honor to be repping for b More and repping for, you know what it is, 410, Head 9 Music. You know what yeah. I mean? On the deadly streets. That's what it be. So, how long y'all been on tour so far? Man, uh, five weeks. It's been about five weeks now. A little over a month. It's definitely tiring, you know, but we love what we do. And when you love what you do, you just summon that energy to keep going. You know what I mean? We started in Toronto, mm. went down West Coast, South, spun all the way back around and came back up. Wow. So we got to hit B more coming back up from North Carolina. You know? That's all in a van, right? That's all in a van, you know what I mean? The crazy van, it's sort of like half Scooby-Doo, half A-Team. 18. <laughs> <laughs> it's the realest van ever right now. But you made it happen. Like, we made it happen, you know what I mean? On the ground, making them, you know, themselves doing your thing. So how does it feel to get re-embraced? Because, you know, you've been doing solo work for a minute since the last album and grinding like that. But now the, the, the re-emergence is like a lot of artists that were grinding then are starting to pop up and their fans are still there and they're getting new fans how does that feel it feels good just to work on you know first of all i'm working on music with my brother right you know what i mean second of all if i'm alone or with him i'm always repping him he's repping me if we're alone or or together on a project and it all and it definitely feels good to know that the old fans are there but there's this new crowd that's rediscovering Cold Vein and what we did with that album. Mm -hmm. And now they realize some of the people that they listen to right, were that? inspired by us. You know what I mean? And it's coming full circle and it's, it's definitely honorable, you know? Yeah, because it was crazy because I was out here talking to a cat. He was like 27. I'm like, dude, when that album dropped, you probably wasn't even old enough to buy it. You, was, you had to ask your mom because you could get that album right there. Sticker, parental sticker involved, definitely, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's honorable. Again, when we dropped Cole Vein in 2001, if you, if you Google it right now, the two dominant albums of that year is Blueprint and Us. So that's, wow. that says a lot. If you go on Google right now, the two dominant albums of that year, because the buildings had fell. So hip hop is important that year. You have the blueprint from Jay-Z, you have Doom, Doomsday, and you have Us. Those are the, those are the dominant albums of that year. Peace to MF Doom, Iron Rose, you know what I mean? So you know what I mean? It's, it's, that just shows the impact of that album and Blade of the Ronin is gonna do the same thing. It's definitely uh getting rotation in my car and definitely on four ten head nod I'd always, always, always. Respect to four ten, respect to four ten head nod for repping, you know, Tislong, we go back. You know what I mean? God is real. God is a living man, and we here. You know what I mean? So now, uh, can we see this continuing? If this, if this album continues to be successful, can we hear from more? Of course. I mean, I mean we I stay, mean, we stay, we stay making material, yeah, and it's we, all about being creative. And you know, I give thanks and I credit Vaz for you know reintroducing it because to back to me because you know being creative is. You know, amongst us as individuals, we can be creative with ourselves and introspective. So, but to display it is what we, what I was introduced back into with Vash. You know, he's steadily doing projects and, and collaborating with people. So, you know, it was definitely a, a chance to 
be creative again, to write again. So we definitely stay with projects. We all collaborate as crew and as a coalition, Crimson Guards, you know, and, and GGO and yeah, Team yeah. Harmony, Stronghold Adams. Mm. We got a lot of family that we came up Team ciphering Harmony. with, you know. So we got mad, we got projects, so we got material that's coming that ain't necessarily just Can Knox, but mm. Can Knox yeah. related but as far as family related. and everything yeah. around that we are part of and came up as too so you know expect another album definitely but we you know he has an album with double a b i have another solo album we're all in the lab just and we're all on everything right you know? so um now this question can't be asked because i didn't get it from the horse's mouth with um death jux and that label in, in lp is there just still you know a, a chance um, not uh, yeah. is yeah. not in uh, functionality right. anymore. Yeah. IGC is in functionality though, and IGC released Blade of the Ronin. Okay. Uh, Def Jux definitely is a huge part of our you know upbringing. We 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 helped make Def Jux. You yeah. know what I mean? I we love everything. <laughs> we love everything we did with L. Right. Um, you know, I think you know the propaganda is like, why isn't he a part of it? Well. You know, well, L doing his thing. He doing his thing. Right, right. With, with, still, yeah. Still you know coming I mean? up together. We do shows yeah. together. Like, you know, you could have saw Run the Jewels and Cannibal Ox open up for Cypress Hill in the Netherlands two months ago. We was on the same, same stage, stage, vibing and wilding, and the fans were going crazy. Oh, yeah, they was going, so, they was going you know crazy. I mean? They was going crazy. Y'all so know enough, people going crazy. Enough for that with the propaganda, juice. man. <laughs> Everybody's grown men. We got our own ideas and right. wishes and, and dreams. Everybody's just making music. You know what I mean? We love Run the Jewels, and they love us. That's, so you know, that's the business. You know, we got love for Company Flow. You know what I mean? Yeah, In the past, the LP Killer yeah. Mike doing they thing, they man. I'm real thing, proud yeah. to see what they collaborated and made. And real quick, I, I, I need you to step into the light a little bit. He killed it. If you was in there and saw the show tonight, like, I'm going to tell you right now, personally, I have people that I know come to like, yo, who's a DJ? Like, who's a DJ? With, yo, you definitely. They're like, yo, how can we do in contact with him? And hey, what's your name? DJ Low Cash. So are you the official DJ for the tour, or? Yeah, I mean, but ever since they started running around at the end of 12, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 2013, all the all the the movements we've been making, yeah, running around the country, running that's, around the world, really. <laughs> yeah, that's the business. So, if they want to purchase, if they want to stalk you, if they want to get more information on what's coming up, how can they follow? Where do they go? Hit us on uh, Vast Air 2090. Also, hit us on the Real Cannibal Ox. That's the IG. That's the Twitter. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. You know, we you know we we you know a law is seen and heard. We could be found. You know what I mean? We don't hide. You know what I mean? So. You know. Instagrams, Twitters, Facebooks, yeah. we got all that joints. You know, yeah. that'll hit it all. The Vast Air 2090, that's the YouTube, the Twitters, the Instagrams, and it'll link you to everything. That's the business. Well, Cannibal Ox, Cypher No, right here, live, killed the show, dope interview. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you follow them. It's the 410 Hit Now, Crooked Streets Radio. Yeah. Hey, you.